How a 4 to 20 mA transmitter works. A sensor is an input device that provides a usable output in response to the input measurand. A sensor is also commonly Kaye D Toa S Ensing element, primary sensor, or primary detector. The measurand is the physical parameter to be measured. An input transducer produces an electrical output that is representative of the input measurand. Its output is conditioned and ready for use by the receiving electronics like PLC or DCS. The receiving electronics can be an indicator, controller, computer, PLC, DCS etc. The term transmitter, as commonly used with industrial process control instrumentation, has a more narrow to I mission than those of a sensor or transducer. 4 to 20 mA transmitter A transmitter is a transducer that responds to a measured variable by means of a sensing element and converts it to a standardized transmission signal, like 4-20 ma, that is a function only of the measured variable. Transmitters can have any of several electrical connection schemes. The most common and easiest to use is the two-wire, loop-powered con, guration. This is generally the basic con, Guration for industrial process control systems when digital communication is not required. As shown in below figure, only two wires are used to accommodate both power to the transmitter and output signal from the transmitter. To facilitate a closed loop control system, information from the process must be obtained before a controller can determine what action may be required by a control element. Some popular names for the sensing devices that provide the information are sensors, transducers, and slash or transmitters. The standard loop current is usually 4 to 20 ma. Important calibration parameters with a current loop are zero, full scale, and span. With the 4 to 20 ma range, the loop current is normally 4 ma when the measurand or process variable is at zero, and 20 ma when the measurand or process variable is at full scale. The difference between zero and full scale, 16 ma, is called the span. Thus, the span corresponds to the indicated range of the measurand or process variable. When considering a flow transmitter, for example, the range of the measurand or process variable is 0.0, .0 to 100.0 m3 slash hr, corresponding to a 4 to 20 ma loop current, output span is then 16 ma. The output scaling factor is 0.16 ma slash m3 slash hr, which is 100 m3 slash hr 16 ma. 4 to 20 mA transmitter works. Assumptions, standard plus 24 VDC with 20 ma. In general PLC slash DCS analog input card channel supplies. More, ETHA, and 20 ma. Cur dot rent to power the loop. Case 1, process variable at 0%. The PLC slash DCS analog input card transmits a standard plus 24 VDC, 20 ma signal to power the transmitter. A one pair cable is used to power the transmitter and the same cable is used to receive the data in the 4-20 ma current range. Transmitter receives plus 24 VDC, more than 20 ma signal in the loop. A minimum plus 5 VDC, 20 ma signal is required to proper functioning of transmitter. In practical there will be a voltage drop in the loop. Transmitter have an inbuilt voltage regulator function which is used to regulate the loop current. The transmitter will be configured with LRV, URV and other details of process variable. The loop current will be varied slash changed by the transmitter as per the measured process variable. The 4-20 ma current will be converted into standard 1 to 5 VDC using a precision 250 ohms resistor. The analog to digital converter will be used to convert the voltage into digital signal which is used to indicate the process variable value in the DCS slash PLC HMI. Example, a flow transmitter with a range of 0 to 100 M3 slash HR transmitter indicates 0 M3 slash HR as there is no flow in the line. DCS slash PLC powers the transmitter with plus 24 VDC, 20 ma. As process variable is 0 M3 slash HR, 
the transmitter regulates the loop current to 4 Ma and its equivalent voltage is 1 VDC which is measured by a slash D converter which indicates 0% of process variable. How a 4 to 20 mA transmitter work? Note, the loop current will be same either at starting or end or any point in the loop. For easy understanding only, both 20 Ma and 4 Ma signals are shown in the animation. In practical, when we measure the current at any point in the loop, the transmitter output current will be found i.e. 4 Ma as per above figure, so just assume DCS slash PLC system powers the loop with plus 24 VDC, 20 Ma, generally system supplies more than 20 Ma, while transmitter regulates the loop current within 4 Ma to 20 Ma as per its configuration and real-time process variable value. If you want to measure the PLC slash DCS loop power i.e. 20 Ma, as per above figure, signal then disconnect the transmitter from the loop and connect the multimeter in series with DCS slash PLC to measure the loop current. And the one pair cable is a twisted pair cable. Case 2, process variable at 50%. Same principle applies. The transmitter adjusts the loop current as per the process variable. The only difference is the transmitter sensing element changes its output as process variable varied from 0% to 50%. The transmitter regulates the loop current as per the sensing element. Example, process variable indicates 50M3 slash HR. Transmitter regulates output to 12 Ma in the loop as per the configured range and measured process variable and its equivalent voltage is 3 VDC which is measured by a slash D converter which indicates 50% of process variable. Case 3, process variable at 100%. Same principle applies. The transmitter adjusts the loop current as per the process variable. The only difference is the transmitter sensing element changes its output as process variable varied from 50% to 100%. The transmitter regulates the loop current as per the sensing element. Example, process variable indicates 100M3 slash HR. Transmitter regulates outputs to 20 Ma in the loop as per the configured range and measured process variable and its equivalent voltage is 5 VDC which is measured by a slash D converter which indicates 100% of process variable. Measured or process variables. Although almost any type of transducer can be con, GERD as a transmitter, the most common types for industrial process control comprise measurands or process variables like temperature, pressure, flow, level etc. Transmitters for measuring other parameters will have the same possibilities for connection and communication methods, with the main differences being in the sensing element design of transmitter and electronic equipment will be same with slightly software modification. Two wire loops. The main advantage of a two wire loop is that it minimizes the number of wires needed to run both power and signal. The use of a current loop to send a signal also has the advantages of reduced sensitivity to electrical noise and to loading effects. The electrical noise is reduced because the two wires are run as a twisted pair, ensuring that each of the two wires receives the same vector of energy from noise sources, such as electromagnetic, else due to a changing current in a nearby conductor or electric motor. Since the receiving electronics connected to the transmitter is designed to ignore common mode signals, the resulting common mode electrical noise is ignored. The sensitivity to loading effects is reduced because the current in the twisted pair is not affected by the added resistance of long cable runs. A long cable or other series resistance will cause a greater voltage drop but does not affect the current level as long as enough voltage compliance is available in the circuit to supply the signal current. The circuit compliance to handle a given voltage drop from additional loop devices depends on the transmitter output circuit and on the power supply voltage. The typical power supply for industrial transmitters is plus 24 VDC. If 6 volts, for example, are needed to power the transmitter and its output circuit, then 18 volts of compliance remain to allow for wire resistance, load resistance, voltage drops across intrinsic safety, IS, barriers and remote displays, etc. Where the current loop signal is connected to the main receiving equipment, PLC slash DCS, or data acquisition system, 
a precision load resistor of 250 ohms is normally connected. This converts the 4 to 20 ma current signal into a 1 to 5 volt signal, since it is standard practice to con, g. You're the analog to digital converter of the receiving equipment, PLC slash DCS, as a voltage sensing input. 3 wire and 4 wire loops. In contrast to the 2 wire current loop con, Duration, some current loop devices require a 3 or 4 wire connections. These are not loop powered and therefore have a separate means for providing power by adding one or two more wires. In a 4 wire con, duration, the current loop wires can be a twisted pair, and the power supply wires a separate twisted pair. This preserves the ability to reject electrical and magnetic common mode interference. This is not so effective in a 3 wire con, G. Duration due to the common connection for the return current path. Typically, though, when an instrumentation engineer spicy, ES a current loop transmitter for industrial process control, it is assumed that a two wire, loop powered 4 to 20 MA device is intended. Other data signals may also be impressed upon the same wire pair, or alternatively, various digital communication techniques can be used instead of a current loop if required. Articles you may like. For our next video. RTD calibration. Final control elements. Basics of loop checks. Instrumentation and control. DP level transmitter errors please like and subscribe.